It is known as the train of death for a reason. A thousand mile journey to the United States through Mexico that hundreds of Central American migrants have never been able to complete. One man on board a cargo wagon witnessed how 40 passengers were tied up and kidnapped a week ago. There were 20 of us, I think, who managed to run and lose them in the mountains. We heard two gunshots and the train stopped. I felt fear like everyone feels because that's what you feel when something like that happens. Fear to be injured. A lot of people were lost. I've heard they took some 40 people, others say 50. I'm not sure. Reports say 50 migrants were abducted. At first, Mexican authorities denied the kidnapping took place, but have changed course after hearing witness accounts and demands from Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador to investigate the matter. At a shelter in the province of Oaxaca, where the incident took place, the local priest says members of the Zetas cartel may have ordered the kidnapping. Eyewitnesses have told me they saw people being tied up. They tied up the migrants. They saw how three Guatemalan women were tied up, one Honduran, children as young as 12 years old and younger. Amnesty International says that at least 20,000 people were kidnapped by drug gangs last year alone, even after paying thousands of dollars to be smuggled into the U.S. 72 migrants were murdered by their captors near the U.S. border four months ago and later found in mass graves. As days go by without word of the 50 missing migrants, there is fear that they could suffer the same fate. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera.